this idea come about? Did Nissan want some kind of tie into the new economy and said, let's do this with Amazon? Well, it really came from the model that we were trying to sell, which was the Nissan Versa Note. And crossovers are a really popular model, and the Versa is a really affordable car, and it's a great car. And we wanted to just say that door to more, this is a car that can carry a lot of stuff. Door to more, but it's kind of stunt marketing as well, because yes. people won't actually be able to get their Sentra through a Amazon <laughs> delivery service. Well, but the idea was that that if you purchased uh, uh, the car that you could get a thousand dollars credit from Amazon and you could fill the car with whatever you wanted. So we got a page on Amazon and we got a hundred reservations. Twenty-eight people actually bought the car and one person actually got the car delivered to their home. Well this is uh, obviously stunt marketing. Does that in general work uh, for brands or is it a case-by-case a case basis? It's a case-by-case case basis, um, but I think you have to strategically think about the stunt, um, make sure that it fits with the brand and also think about how people are going to engage with this. So imagine this box driving through cities and towns to get to its destination. We know that behavior of consumers is they love to take pictures, so the chances of somebody shooting a picture of this and posting it was pretty high. We were showing you pictures, and that's what went viral, but you guys were actually filming a video of the delivery, and there it is right now. Yeah. Neighbors took pictures of it. They posted it to Reddit, so it was kind of like spy photos that yeah. preemptively uh, took the attention from your video. It's pretty difficult to execute all of this without any leaks that could go viral. Does that help or hurt what you're trying to accomplish? It helped. I mean, I think we wanted that to happen. We wanted people to take pictures of it and post it. And I mean, I got, I got to actually consume this as a consumer. Even though I knew all about it, it blew up on my feed. You didn't know how it would turn out, necessarily. But... Right. You don't know. You just don't know. But the person across the street took the picture, posted it on Reddit, and literally I had people, friends from Germany and France and London, all calling me saying, oh my God, this is hit the press here locally and it just blew up. Well one of the rules I understand in something like this is you can't predict what's going to go viral. So you can't really base a campaign on that. You can cross your fingers and hope. Absolutely. And again, I think it comes down to strategy. And I think Nissan had, Nissan had a very specific idea of the Versa Note and what they were trying to sell it on. They came up with a, we came up with a creative idea by how to do that. And I think we thought we had a really good chance that somebody, because of people's behavior, would take a picture of this giant box <laughs> traveling on a truck. Teresa, very quickly, what does Nissan need to do as a follow-up to resonate? Uh, I think that, you know, we have, as you saw, if you saw in the video, that what would you do with the cardboard box? So there's something there. So we're soliciting reactions from people to say, with all that amount Crowd of... Crowdsourcing. <laughs> yes. What would you do? And there may be some other things I that come along the way. I know some kids who would like to make a clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs>